You see me already? All right. We are ready to go. Okay, so go ahead and get started, Cadence. All right, good afternoon, Liberty family. Today is Saturday, December 19th, 2020. And I'm here for my weekly segment called Finances, Affirmations, and Prayers. I'm Reverend Catherine, Associate Pastor at Liberty Community Church, where the pastors are the Reverend Doctors Ralph and Alika Galloway. We meet here every Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you want to make sure to keep up with the segment, you can follow us at the Liberty Community Church PCUSA Facebook page. There you can be alerted when we're getting ready to come on, and you can take part in our other ministry offerings. You can also see us at the Catherine Langford YouTube channel. Please join today. And as always, if you feel like this information is beneficial, please share it with your family and your friends. Amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and get right into the uh, scripture passage for today. It's the same one that we've used the last couple of weeks because we've been talking about kids and finances. Um, and it's from Proverbs 22 and 6. And the NIV says, start children off on the way that they should go. And even when they're old, they will not turn from it. The Living Bible says, teach a child to choose the right path. And when he or she is older, they will remain up on it, okay? And then the Message Bible says, which I love so much, it says, point your kids in the right direction. When they're old, they won't be lost. And so that's what we're trying to do uh, with our children, with my own children, with the children in my um, investment club class, okay? So that's a great foundational passage to talk about that. Um, like I said, the last two weeks, we've been talking about children and finances. If you've missed any of those segments, please go back and take a look at that. Um, and so you can go back on the uh, YouTube uh, channel um, that has been dropped in your comments if you want to go back and look at old segments. Um, and today we're going to continue our conversation with uh, the children in my investment club. So I explained to you guys last week that I have an investment club that I started at my church and uh, we have children starting at um, grade sixth grade and we've been teaching them financial literacy. And then we also teach them about investing. Okay, so last week we had Cadence, Austin and uh, Charlie. So this week we're gonna have a couple of uh, other children with us. So hold on. Let me get my stuff together here and bring everybody on. All right. So, and Cadence needs to turn her video on so we can see her face. Cause, all right. So, today we have Cadence, um, we have Precious. And we have Jerry, another brother sister team. We had a brother sister team last week too, along with Cadence. So I want you guys to just introduce yourselves, tell us your name, and tell us what grade you're in. Okay. So you guys can unmute. And Jerry, you want to start? Um, yeah. My name is Jerry, and I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. Okay. Who's next? Um, my name is Precious. And I'm Precious, you got to talk loud, baby. I can barely hear you. My name is Precious, and I'm in eighth grade. Eighth grade, okay. My okay. name is Cadence, and I'm in seventh grade. In seventh grade, all right. So these three uh, young people are also a part of my investment club. And so just by way of review, last week we talked about the difference between public and private companies. Um, just, uh, do you guys remember the difference? You guys weren't, Cadence was here, you guys weren't, but just really quick, uh, Precious and Jerry, do you guys remember the difference between a public and a private company? Um. You can't trade with a private company. Correct. Uh, private company, you don't do trades. Those are companies that are not on the New York Stock Exchange. Very good. So we talked about that last week. We talked about what a stock was. Cadence, can you give us a, a brief uh, review of what a stock is? Remember I had the starburst? Uh-oh. stock is... Okay. 
Remember, I had the tag. Go ahead. You can buy shares of the stock. Or As little pieces of what? The company. Little pieces of a company. That's what uh, a stock is, or little pieces of a company. All right. So we went over that last week. And then do you guys remember, Cadence, do you remember the stock exchanges we talked about? Where do most of the stocks we look at, what exchange is it on? You guys remember? Starts with an N. The New York Stock Exchange. The New York Stock Exchange. That's right. So that is one exchange. There's many different types of exchanges, but it's the New York Stock Exchange that we talk about most. And then um, we talked about the difference, uh, like back in the day, was it easy to trade stocks or harder? It was hard to trade stocks because um, you had to do this and that in order to get a stock in. And who did you have to use to trade yeah. stocks? You have to use a person, but this time you need to online. To, what was uh, the name of the person? <laughs> what stock broker? A stockbroker, that's right. So do, do you need to use a stockbroker now? No. Okay, so what do you use now to trade? A broker. Um, yeah. Technology. Mm. Technology and a brokerage account. That's right. That's what you use now to trade. And why was it when you dealt with a broker in the past, why was that difficult? What did they do that made it more difficult for people to who maybe didn't have a lot of money? What did, what did they do that made it more difficult for you to make trades? They had fees that you had to pay. Right, they had minimum fees and minimum amounts that you had to trade and many people could not afford that, right? All right, and then I know Precious and uh, Jerry remember this one. So when we're talking about uh, the market, or is it like a, a grocery store or is it like a market? A market. And why, do you, why is that, Jerry? Because you could make trades instead of actually like, you can negotiate with someone for a trade. That's right, you can negotiate. You can't, at a, at a grocery store, you can't negotiate, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into our uh, lesson for this week. Um, and this will be really short, but we're just gonna go over this with the kids um, and they're gonna share with you what they've learned. So when we're talking about trading stocks, right? Is the market, Okay, so I'm sorry, Kate, <laughs> Kate has had to mute herself. I had to mute myself. Um, so when we're talking about the stock market, is the stock market like driving a car down a highway or is it like a roller coaster? It's like a roller coaster. Like a roller coaster. And Precious, why is it like a roller coaster? Because the stocks can go up and down and you never know what's coming next. That's right. So then is there anyone that can tell you, hey, this for sure is going to happen each day? No. Right. You can't time the market right now. You can use information that you might have, like information from your study or what have you, but no one can tell you for sure what's going to happen. Right. All right. Okay, so now let's talk about what, uh, what a bull market is and what a bear market is. This is new information or maybe new information for the people who are listening. Um, Jerry, can you tell me, tell me what a bull market is? A bull market is when the stocks are going up. It's called a bull market because a bull is, represents a bull horns going up. Good. That's right. Very good. It's a bull market when the market is going up. And the reason they call it a bull market is simply because a bull's horn goes up. Okay. Horns go up. All right. And so Jerry, what is a, another name for a bull market? Um, it's, uh, Cadence, you know, a rally. A rally, <laughs> right? When the prices are going up and the prices are going up, they'll say the market had a rally today. It went up 200 points. Um, so it's a bullish market when it's going up and it is a, a rally also, okay? And so then uh, what is a bear market, Precious? 
a bear market is when the stocks go down and it's called a bear market because a bear slashes down. Very good. It's called a bear because the, the bear's claw slashes down. And so when they hear, when they uh, talk, if you hear them on the uh, TV saying the bears in the market, they're talking about people who think the market is going to go down, right? And it's uh, called a bear market because of the, uh, the bear slashing down. Very good. All right. So let's go on to the next one. We're moving through this pretty good. Um, so what is one of the basic rules of trading? You, you buy what and sell what? You buy, high, you buy low and sell high. Correct. Is that what you were gonna say, Precious? I see that you uh, raised your hand. <laughs> okay, you buy low and sell high. So when we're talking about the market and people might hear on the news, oh, the market plummeted, you know, 50 points cadence. What happens for us? Do we get freaked out when the market falls? No. Why? Because stocks are on sale. Because stocks are on sale. That's right. So when the market falls for us, stocks are on sale. Very good. All right. Very good. So um, who can tell me who remembers the difference between a blue chip stock and a penny stock? A blue chip stock and a penny stock. One of you guys. A, a penny stock is a stock that's worth less than $10, $10 or less. And a blue chip stock is like the main stocks that like people trade from like Apple and Netflix. Very good. So a, a blue chip stock is a stock from like a well-established financially sound company. It's like a market leader, um, like Apple, Microsoft, Netflix, stuff like that. And then a penny stock is a stock that's $10 or less, right? Okay, so let's go on to the next. I'm sorry. So who remembers what insider trading is? Cadence, you want to start? Insider trading is when you have information that a lot of other people don't have. That a lot of other people don't have. Okay. Uh, Jerry, do you want to add to that? Um, inside trading is illegal. It is illegal. Very good. All right. And so um, from way back in the day, I told you guys about somebody who got in trouble for insider trading. Y'all remember who that was? What's what's their name? Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. That's right. And uh, for you guys who are just listening, um, the way that they uh, understood who Martha Stewart was, they were like, "Oh, the lady that be on the show with Snoop Dogg." <laughs> That's how they understood Martha Stewart, where most of us would understand, you know, would know her from her. Um, her cooking and all of that, they were able to associate her with uh, Snoop Dogg. So then you guys tell me, can you guys tell me about in recent news, um, who has been in trouble or investigated for insider trading? Two senators. Two senators in what Georgia. states? Georgia. In Georgia. Okay. So uh, Precious, can you tell me a little bit about that? You remember? Um, they, well, they have been accused of insider trading because they had information that nobody else had. What um, about what? About this, about stocks. Right. But what time was it when all of that happened? What was the, what's the during, major during time? COVID, during COVID. Right. During COVID. So they got a meeting, um, because they were senators and this was before the rest of the public had that kind of information. And they went and made trades. They either made trades to buy stuff or they made trades to sell stuff. But in both cases, they did it uh, to better their financial situation. And so that's what insider trading is. And yes, it is illegal, okay? All right, so uh, you guys have done really, really good. So I want um, all of you to tell me something that you enjoy about investment club and why you think investment club is important 
something I don't have about investment club is how the way the people teach it, they just teach it in a way that kids can understand. The people? And who are the people? Who teaches investment club? <laughs> <Ms. Cass> <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, good. I'm glad I teach it in a way that you can understand. And what is something that you think is important? What I think is important is um, learning about the bearish and bullish market because by or by the time you turn age 25 to save your money because you need to you need your money to get some stocks and for bearish you need you need to know when it's down so you can actually buy it for a less price than what you're intending to be. That's right. And you can name because it's a market, you can negotiate. So you don't necessarily have to buy it when it's up. You can wait for it to come down, right? All right, very good. Um, who's next, Cadence or Precious? Um, I will go. What I enjoy is that we have like an opportunity to like learn more about investing at a young age. And what I think is important is that it's good to start investing while we're young, because then we would get like money earlier. But then if we start investing while we're older, then our money, the money that we would get when they start investing then they will get when they are older. Right. So because um, who remembers, who can tell me real quick, this is a this is not one that y'all might remember, but I hope you do. Who can tell me what the rule of uh, 72 is? Y'all remember that one? Rule um, it was to um, um, get your stocks earlier so when you grow up, you don't have to um, like, because I mean, like get your stocks earlier. Because when you grow up, you're gonna have more money than what you get when you get when you save it at 26. Right. So it's about the rule of compounding interest, right? And so you divide whatever the interest rate is you're earning on a particular item, and that tells you how long it's gonna take your money to double. And so if you start investing early, you have more time for that compound interest to work for you. Um, very good. Uh, so Cadence, do you want to tell us what, uh, you like about investment club and what you think is important? Um, I like that the one time where you have to make us pay for our food that's <laughs> my, um, class. Okay. And I think it's important because you're learning to invest in stuff that you need, not really need, but like want, I guess, so you don't make bad choices. So you don't make bad choices later. Okay, very good. And I do have another question. So last time in investing club, I made you guys, I didn't make you, you guys did trades, right? But what I did make you do is defend your stock, right? And I made you defend the decision that you made about the stock you chose. So can you guys tell me which stock you chose and why? Do you remember? I chose WBA. It's um, basically- What's WBA? WBA is uh, Walmart. Uh, is it? Walmart. Is it WBA or WMT? We're talking about ticker symbols. Oh, I know. We talk. I'm um, talking about WBA. It's it has it's close to Walmart. Okay. It's, I forgot what B stands for, but it was okay. Walmart something association. Okay. So basically, it helps people. I chose it because it could help. It benefits from when people is from Walmart. Most people go to Walmart. So Walmart, the Walmart Association, they probably get more money from Walmart. Because, you know, more people go to Walmart. And, and me so, and my stock. And so when you say most people go to Walmart, you so you think that it's a stock that's going to be around a while because it's solid? Yes. OK. All right. All right. Who else? What stock did you pick and why? Do you remember which one you chose, Cadence? I don't remember the stock, but I know a different one. Okay. It was Target. Oh, that's right. And why did you choose Target? Because you can go to Target, same as Walmart, mm -hmm. except Target's a little more expensive. So mm -hmm. I guess. And you think it's what kind of a company? It's a solid company. It's a good solid company and you think it'll be around a while. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Precious, do you remember which one you chose? Um, I don't think I remember, but I believe I think 
Talk a little bit louder. I don't think I remember, but I believe I might have chosen Walgreens, maybe. I, I wasn't sure, but I just said Walgreens because Walgreens, like, like it's like people have been getting sick a lot, mm -hmm. and they might need medicine. And Walgreens, like, they they pack medicine up, and they're basically where you go to to pick up your medicine. At. Very good. And one one thing too about Walgreens, what they've said um, in the government now is people may be able to go there uh, to get their COVID shots. So Walgreens is going to be doing quite a bit of business. So I think that was a very good uh, choice. So very good, you guys. All right. Well, then that is all I have for you. Is there anything you guys want to add? No? Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. And uh, remember, we have Investment Club tomorrow. Oh, and I just want to say the three that are on the phone, we have uh, 13 people in our class. But these three, we have a competition every week um, to answer quiz questions uh, for dollars. <laughs> and these are the three that are the most active, trying to make sure that they're winning uh, that money. So we're going to announce the winner tomorrow, and the winner will get their uh, $25, OK? All right. And so there was um, someone last week who asked uh, when we would uh, open Investment Club back up. And so we'll open it back up in 2021 when we restart. And that'll be October 2021. But thank you, guys. I'm going to give you guys a hand. Give yourselves a hand. And uh, we will see you later. Thanks for joining, OK? All right. And you guys can drop off. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we are back. Uh, that I had that was a great conversation with Precious, Jerry, and Cadence. You guys get to see a little bit about what we talk about in the investment club class. And for me, I just like I told you last week, I love uh, doing. I, I me mean, personally, I like talking about finances and learning strategies, and uh, about financial literacy. And so I want our children to have that information now. I don't want them to make some of the same mistakes that we made. I don't want it to be like this weird, mysterious thing. I want it to be something that they can use for their lives right now. And I want to teach them a skill with um, trading that they can take. You know, most of us, I didn't, I didn't start doing any kind of trading. My first experience with the stock market was with... Um, my 401k at work. Um, so I want them to already have these skills so that they can start um, the ground on the ground running and be a little bit ahead of their counterparts. So I'm really, really excited about Investment Club. I love teaching it. And um, we are following these kids all the way uh, through high school when they graduate from high school. So it's really, really uh, a blessing to be able to teach that class. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get to our affirmations. Um, the prior affirmations will be dropped in the uh, comments. And then our affirmation uh, for this month is um, intention plus faith plus action equals the manifestation of my dreams. Intention plus faith plus action equal the manifestation of my dreams. And one of my dreams is that these children will go uh, well above and beyond the knowledge that I can give them and that they will be leaders in their community and be financially whole and sound. And so my intention coupled with my faith for their future plus the action of teaching them this class, I know that my dreams will be manifested through these young people. So again, the affirmation for this month, intention plus faith plus action equals the manifestation of my dreams. Amen, amen. So let's go ahead and pray um, and then we'll get on out of here. 
So God, I thank you and I praise you for this time. I thank you and praise you, Lord God, for this segment. It's just such a blessing to me and my life. And my prayer is that it blesses others, Lord, giving us just a little bit more information to help us along on our financial journeys. And God, I just thank you and I praise you for all of the children and all of the people who are a part of the investment club, God. You know who they are. I pray that you bless them, Lord God, real good. Bless them mightily, Lord God. And I just thank you that their lives, Lord God, the, tra the trajectory of their lives will be transformed as a result of this class. And we thank you for their families. We thank you for their parents, all that. Um, we thank you for the church, all who come together to make this happen. I just pray that they are all blessed in Jesus name. Amen. And so one thing I just want to remind all of you in Georgia to please go and vote. Early voting has already started, so please do that. And so the uh, next two weeks, we will um, have content for you that's um, out there, so take a look at it. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, please join us tomorrow at 11 a.m. for worship. We will not be having Sunday school tomorrow. Uh, due to the um, holidays. Um, join us for Mindfulness Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday with Reverend Sarita and join us Wednesday night for our Advent Bible study. As always, if there's a topic you want to cover, please put it in the comments and we will get to it. Um, and I will continue to pray for you. Please also pray for me. We will see you next week.